Hello again everyone and welcome back to the art studio of Eli Hansen. I'm going to be making a couple changes in the way I put out content. Uh, thanks to all of you who contributed to the comments on Facebook and on Google Plus when I asked about how frequently you like content to be put out on your favorite blogs. I'm going to be shooting for twice a week, better if possible, and uh, another thanks go out to Jack Spierko of the survivalpodcast.com. His rant this morning, or on Friday that is, on his podcast gave me the extra kick I needed to get that started. I'm also going to be making a change to my videos. Instead of trying to give a quick art lesson and then produce a video on, t uh, excuse me, a piece of artwork on top of that in the same video, I'm going to be doing some videos that are just lessons on something that I feel is an important aspect of artwork, and I'm also going to be doing some videos that are just a, a sped up. Uh, video of me doing a piece of artwork. Kind of split up my content that way, so if you like one particular, if you're looking for an art lesson, you can find that. If you're just looking to watch somebody draw, you can find that as well without mixing the two of them. The lesson I'm going to talk about today is the lesson of drawing an outline, also known as drawing is 70% looking, 30% drawing. What I mean by that is, when you draw something, when you go to draw, say, an apple, you generally have an idea about what an apple looks like. It has a dent in the bottom where the flower was. It has a dent for the stem. You may have some idea of how the roundness is shaped, where it's flatter, where it's rounder. But when you draw an apple, you sit down, you take your pencil to your paper, and about two minutes later, you look up, and unfortunately, the apple looks almost nothing like what you've been drawing. Uh, another example is if you try to draw a person, like many people do, if you sit down and try and draw a person, what you're going to end up with looks more like a stick figure. And it's because your brain has an idea about what people look like, but you don't actually know. You haven't studied what the anatomy of a person is. Portraits are especially hard. So the purpose of this exercise is to put something in front of you, to set your pencil down on the paper, and to draw the object that you see in front of you without looking at your pencils, looking only at that object that's in front of you and following that outline with your eyes and then making your arm and your hand and your pencil follow what your eyes are seeing without looking. Uh, it is as hard as it sounds. <clears throat> so today I've got a baseball cap in front of me here uh, and I'm going to do this, out, this outline exercise quick so you can see what I mean. If you're doing it correctly you should be able to follow the outline of the object all the way around and come back and your pencil will be exactly where you started. Now it's rare for that to actually happen. I don't know as I've ever done this exercise perfectly. But uh, back in the day when I first started taking art lessons, this was my first art lesson. I came in, uh, my art teacher sat me down in front of an apple and showed me how to do this exercise and sent me home. And for the next week, every evening for an hour to two hours every day, I sat down in front of a Hot Wheels car my brother had, uh, in front of a pair of headphones, in front of a baseball cap or a piece of fruit, and I did this exercise. And I give this exercise a great deal of credit for where I've come in artwork today. Um, if, you, if you do this exercise, you will learn how to draw, and you will learn how to really see what's in front of you instead of just assuming the shapes of objects, which is crucial if you're like me and you're aiming for realism in your drawings. So let me tackle this uh, baseball cap quickly here. The cap is pointing to my left so I'm going to start at the tip of the brim and it's straight until it meets the cap. A little bump and then up at about this angle curves over. It should be about twice as long as the brim was. Meets the button here on top. Then it continues down at this angle. Changes again. About here's the seam. Jags back in until it meets the strap. Loops down. Continues here, the strap bends back out a little, and now we're at the bottom of the cap. Uh, I think I'm going to run out of paper here. Uh, yep, I did. Okay, I had to look down. I ran out of paper. Starting about here. We'll just continue here. It starts to bend back up. 
meets the bottom of the brim. And it curves back up, hopefully, to where the cap started last time. And we were close. We were close. So starting here, I'll finish up the brim. Okay, there's the hat. It's about, oh, 60% accurate. It's been a while since I did one of these exercises. Let's try it again. I'll move the hat to a different position. Here it's facing straight on to me. I'll start at this part of the cap where it's kind of Fold it over, goes up at about this angle, bends over, meets the cap again, comes up straighter, the button's on top just a little bit, slopes down like this, folds back under, now we're at the brim. And the brim is a big half circle, over to here, comes back up, and then jags back over to where the hat started. Hey, look at that, not too bad. Now if I want to improve upon this drawing, I'd add a line here where the brim of the cap meets the body of it. I'd add the extra dimension of the end of the brim. I'd clean up some of my lines down here. I'd make it clear the change here. There's a fold in the cap down here. I'm doing this all looking at the drawing and at the hat alternately. I'm not no longer doing an outline exercise. I draw in the seams. Tidy up this corner. Add a little shadow under here, and under here, and there you have a halfway decent representation of the baseball cap that's in front of me. This is why this exercise is so important. All I need is the outline, and then I can start adding details to make it look more realistic. But I can't get an accurate outline if all I'm doing is trying to draw what I think the baseball cap looks like. Your brain can play tricks on you that way. You, you really can't trust your brain on what you think something looks like. You need to go to the source, set it up in front of you, use a photograph, and see what the actual curves and the angles and the lines are. So that's my little exercise to share with you for today. Uh, go out and try it yourself. It takes absolutely no previous experience. All it takes is a pencil and a piece of paper. Put something in front of you and follow it with your eyes and your pencil and see what you do. Thanks for watching. I'll try and produce another video later this week and I'll see you then.